Hey, this is TJ Davis with Pickleville Playhouse, and we're here today at Pickleville to give you the inside scoop on our brand new production called Juanito Bandito in The One with the Monkey. Let's go check it out. Yes, I'm Bandito's agent. Um, mostly, let's say, organizing shows, uh, back rubs. Yes, thank you. Does Chester have any uh, diet res restrictions? Any sp specific things that you feed him every day to keep him healthy? I, I see that he's um, in pretty good shape. I mean, feed him. What made you want to focus more on your music during this show? Well, I woke up one morning and I said to myself, "Self, this is too easy. Being a bad guy is too easy. Like, I wake up in the morning, I think, oh." How can I make more money? Wait a minute. I have probably most of the money already in my pockets right now. And so, since it is too easy, I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's try something new. You know how you don't go feeding plants? Like they sit out in the sun and they get the energy from the sun. Monkeys are a lot like that, right? They don't need food. You don't have to feed them or anything. They're just self-sustaining. As long as you put them outside for long enough, they do just fine. What, what are we talking, what? No, no, remember you don't eat food, no. He's a what do you do after you are a bad guy? Boom, you be a rapper. Uh, if he needs a shoulder to cry on. Is, is that often that he kind of needs that Yes, but well, it's support. a stressful job being an outlaw, isn't it? And now that he's trying to transition from being an outlaw into a rapping career, there are a lot of tears shed. And just, I say, hey, hey buddy, your sham wow is here if you need to just cry on me and then ring me out and then cry on me some more. I'm Darcy Brown and I am a reporter. I like baking. I'm pretty good at it. What's your impression of him uh, as a person? He's such an interesting person. Like on the outside people might find him like a little arrogant. I'm awesome. I think there's just really something, something there, something deep. My name is Petra. Von Slongomans. So I come to America, I decide to make Pickle Stand. It is super successful and everyone likes it and um, my family back home thinks I'm very famous in America. Um, and they are all very happy there because I send them money. Can you, can you please sit down? Uh, we're, we're trying to keep you in the light here. Yeah, just sit. Sit on the thank you. Yeah, there you go. What's your pitch? Why, why should people come and watch you guys in, in the show? <laughs> Number one, we're gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, like, probably prettier than everyone that comes. <laughs> yeah, but mostly, like, we're funny. <laughs> we're funny. We're funny. I'd say we're funny. They let me do whatever I want around here. It's been, like, what is this, like, number eight season of shows, of Bandito shows. So each year, I, like, the second year, I was like, oh, thanks. And, but now I just walk in and everyone like I had in my uh, in my contract, bow down when you see me, and that's been fun this year. Can you name in um, chronological order the names of all of Bandito's future children? Absolutely, Pablo, Pancho. I think they were uh, uh, Mackenzie, uh, Todd. What's the first one? Just give me the first one, and I can get the rest. Uh, Leonardo, Donatello, Michael Ed, Michael Ed. All right, Chester, what, what, what names do you know? All right. Pablo, Pancho, Paco, Taco, Viviana, Diego, and Dora. Time. Is that a record? What advice can you give to aspiring mustache growers? <laughs> you know what? Like, people all, I get this question a lot. They're like, hey, Nice mustache. That's probably the most awesome mustache I have ever seen. And I tell them, I rock. No duh. Clearly, this is the best mustache you have ever seen. Not only that, but it is the best mustache you will ever see. So step one to growing a mustache, you have to realize that your mustache is never gonna be this mustache. Step two, start doing lots of manly stuffs, like eat meat, watch movies with lots of cars, listen to music that is not for little sissy girls. We hope you enjoyed this little insider's look into the crazy world of this summer's Juanito Bandito production. 
Make sure to visit PickleVillePlayhouse.com to get more information about this show and also our exciting other show, The Drowsy Chaperone. It's awesome, you're not gonna wanna miss it. You can see the show schedule there and also you can book tickets right there on the website. We're excited to see you up here at the Playhouse soon. Let's talk just a little bit more about your, yours and Bandito's relationship. Very good. Um, it seems from afar, a kind mm -hmm. of watching, yes. that he, you, you don't get like any of the, the credit mm. for, for the, the behind the scenes stuff mm. that you do. Well, uh, is, is, he, is he a difficult employer? I mean, let, let, it's, uh, let's, I wouldn't say I don't get any of the credit. Um, let's see, he wants, said uh, hi to me from across the room, um, but it wasn't actually me he was saying hi to, it, it was uh, uh, someone else that he was saying hi to, and so, let's see, credit. Uh, no, I'm, I'm credited in many ways. So tell us, um, next question, have you ever considered <laughs> running for president? <laughs> no, because I like to live how I want to live. And that means not obeying the rules. That means having people bow to me. Do you bow to the president? I forget. And so no, I never. I'm not gonna be the president. I'm credited. He's a fine employer. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just difficult to place right now un under the the lights. The king, maybe. If they, if someone comes back and says, "Hey, we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch to." Uh, monarchy and we're gonna have a king now oh <gasps> then you give me a call apparently there's a red notebook that you carry around um, I don't know if you're willing to d divulge what, that's what's... uh that's that's personal um I, yes I'm trying, I'm trying I'm trying to talk to you nice <laughs> all right yeah, yeah sorry, just play over here all right just, just yes but, but no I had uh, to answer your question no it's not uh, ways that I would kill bandito sorry what, that last thing you mm -hmm. said ways to kill bandito is that what's in, that, that what's I, in your um, notebook? I don't remember saying that. Uh, do you, sorry, just for the record, do you do you want to Bandito no, to die? No, like I said, he's a fine employer, um, and I am credited in ways. Just not like open ways, like people don't know that I'm being credited. It's more like secret ways that I'm being credited, but that's still credit, so. But no, I uh, no, I don't uh, like I don't lie awake at night thinking of ways to kill Bandito. To answer your question, no, I don't do that. And that's not what's in your notebook. No. Next question. <laughs>